Subsidies. It's been the much talked about money that the government provides an industry. The idea is to ensure that the price of a good or service is low or competitive. Yesterday, the government announced this assistance, a fuel subsidy, for the tourism industry. But was it important? Did GOB have to do it this way? Tourism Minister Anthony Mahler insisted that this was the best option at this time. It is important. The cost of fuel has gone through the roof. It is unbearable. It is crushing. Uh, and I know about contracts and I know that it's difficult for you to increase your prices at this time. Bus operators have also received the same kind of assistance and the nation's bakers want a similar thing. But are subsidies effective? Do they do more harm than good? Minister of State and the Ministry of Finance, Christopher Coy, argues that a targeted subsidy, like the ones the tourism and bus operators are getting, make practical sense. For, for a country like Belize that has um, tenuous public finances that, that, that um, we have to deal with on an ongoing basis, targeted subsidies, um, certainly in my view, uh, make more, more sense. Um, they have less cost, um, they're, they're less taxing on the government purse, but um, they, they can go towards those most in need. You can target to those most in need. And the leader of the opposition, Moses Shine Barrow, seems to think that this kind of assistance may be helpful, but it's not a panacea to the current state of affairs. We need to bring relief um, to our people, uh, whether the small businesses such as the the bakers, um, the taxi drivers. I, I, I'm sorry that I don't hear about subsidies going to them uh, because to me, they're as important as the bus drivers. All governments have a responsibility uh, to bring relief uh, to their people. And it is for the government to ensure that uh, it is sustainable and that it won't uh, exacerbate uh, things. That's precisely the situation in Ecuador and Peru, who in June saw agriculture workers, students, and social partners taking to the streets in protest because their governments have not implemented or improved its subsidy programs. UB lecturer in economics, Dr. Philip Castillo, urged caution when it comes to implementing subsidies. If I was advising government, I would advise them to be extremely careful because once subsidies have been instituted, they become extremely difficult to remove. Um, issues of removing subsidies have been a cause of riots in several countries in the region, and um, the same thing could potentially happen to Belize. Um, and the other thing is that um, we, we do not know anything about the subsidy. We do not know the quantum of the subsidy. We do not know how it was calculated. We do not know how long it will last. There are several things we do not know. What we know for sure is that the subsidy program implemented by the government for the tourism industry will span five months in the first instance. Tour operator John Pollard welcomed this assistance. This offer is going to be given to us for the next five months. Free fuel, I should say. It's surely a history made here in Belize today. While we are still under this pandemic, we as store operators and boat owners are struggling to get back on our feet. But time will tell if this assistance will be a mainstay and prove to be sustainable. For now, 185 tour operators will receive this boost, even as the bakers await their turn. Dale McDougall, Love News.